Hey, I'm Brian Van, SportBikeTrackier.com. Today we're going to break down the all-new Alpine Stars GP Pro R4 Full Gauntlet Glove. Okay, the all-new GP Pro R4 retails for $299 as of the time we're shooting this video. Please understand we don't update videos or pricing changes only when the product itself has been completely redesigned. This is a brand new, from the ground up, full gauntlet glove that is intended for, obviously, racing, track day riding, or for a street rider that is looking for comfort with tons of protection. Sizing. One of the biggest things we can do with these videos is help you understand how these gloves fit. I normally wear a 2X in most common gloves out there. That's what I have on right now, and I gotta tell you, these things feel amazing. This is a real step forward. The R3 was a good glove. Max rode, I rode in them, Max raced in them a bunch, liked them. He came in and he slid these on while I was in the shop shooting some other stuff. And he's like, dude, what the? I'm like, yeah, that's a big move forward. All new from the ground up. It's a combination of goat skin, cowhide, aromatic fibers. That's kind of a Kevlar type deal. And then a kangaroo palm. With any race glove, what we're going to look for is a lot of fortification here on this side of the hand into the palm and then a palm slider. Why the palm slider? I've said this a million times over the years now. Most of us, when we fall down, have a crash on a racetrack or even on the street, instinctively you're going to try and put your hands out to, to brace for impact. A palm slider helps to encourage sliding, right, where the leather can kind of grip the asphalt and or the concrete and load up the glove, maybe, you know, create an injury in the wrist or pull the glove apart. This is hard to wear through and it also slides easier on the ground. The You can see the aromatic reinforcement, all that yellow underneath the kangaroo hide here, that increases the strength and the abrasion resistance in that area ton. And you'll see how they kind of have a seam in it right there in the pinky so you can still articulate the pinky without having all the bulk. It carries over to cover the wrist strap to protect that area. For the high wear areas where you're interacting with the grips, they have an overlay there. There is a fabric motion panel that they use, and they've been doing this for a number of seasons now. They use right in here in the V between the index finger and the thumb. That helps the glove to open up a little bit easier when you put your hands on the handlebars. It puts pressure right in this area, and what you'll find is if the length from here to here is insufficient, when you do that, it's really gonna, it's gonna kind of close your index finger. With this, you push in and it just expands, makes it much more comfortable. All internal seams, which are the safest, we have accordion stretch panels in the two control fingers, an accordion stretch panel here in the back of the hand. They kind of use like a tunnel system here. Knuckle protector to protect the back of the hand and the knuckles. There is a plastic slider and protector that is ventilated to protect the end of the ulna. Safety strap adjuster here at the top of the gauntlet. Motion panel on the thumb. Some energy absorbing foam that's used here covering that knuckle on your thumb. You'll see knuckle protectors used on each of the fingers. It has the bridge between the pinky and your ring finger to help protect the pinky from rolling under in a crash. This is the most vulnerable spot, and they've taken great steps to make sure that that is as protected as it can possibly be without sacrificing dexterity. For ventilation, if you want to zoom in there a little bit, Tom, what they've done here is they've made some changes. They're using some small perforations here in each of the fingers. There's some ventilation in the back of the knuckle protector and then this fabric that's being used up here. This is an abrasion resistant stretch fabric that flows air freely, right? And it's backed up by that aromatic kind of Kevlar fabric and we'll show you that 
in the other glove that I don't have on right now by changing from leather to that aromatic fabric. You kind of see all the yellow inside there, Tom? It removes a lot of the bulk from the glove and it wears super light. It really increases the dexterity in this area, which is when you're riding the bike, it's constantly in motion. I can't say enough, these gloves feel amazing. This is bar none, the best version of an iconic piece of the Alpine Stars line, the GP Pro glove. This all new R4 is top shelf. If you have any questions, leave those in the comment section of this video. I answer all that stuff myself. I'm always here to help you choose the right gear for your next ride.